The heck? Oh, there we go. I just teleported. It was brilliant. Okay, you can stop now. Um. Oh, here they come. <laughs> oh, Kelgar, I'm sorry. I forgot I could apparently teleport. Oops. My bad. Okay, here we go. My artiste. Form and diplomacy. Two of my important skills. Um, okay, I'm gonna wait. For, I'm gonna try and wait for these guys to kind of catch up. I'll probably try to cut it out though. I don't know how the teleport happened, but I have. I'm. I approve. That's kind of funny. Oh. Nishka's first. Hi, Nishka. No. Talk to Nishka. What's going on? Nothing. Who are you, you? Nishka. Nishka. Emphasis on the ni. Ni. Not many people get it right. <laughs> or try to. Because they're assholes. What do you mean? Usually they call me thief, cursed one, demon wench, rat child, goat girl. The list goes goat on. Goat girl, I guess. You'd Not think Nishka child, wasn't though. that hard to remember. Yeah. You mean, we'll don't get those all the time? That's not so bad. I mean, all those things are true. No, they're not. I'm told it means something in the lower plains, but since I don't get down there much, although, obviously, good old grandpa made a habit of coming up here for the nightlife, if uh, <laughs> you get my meaning. <laughs> yeah, we get it. So you're teaching. Yeah, but shh, don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. I wouldn't want anyone else to figure it out. I mean, aside from the horns and the traces of demon blood. And the tail. Tail's awesome. Questions, questions. Go ahead. I'm all horns. Good for you. Tell me a little about yourself. Me? Well, um, I don't know. I'm... I'm me, I guess. You sound a little surprised. No one usually asks, so finding the words is a little hard. <laughs> Trust me. People usually make up the whole story once they spot the demon blood, if they ask at all. Well, I'd like to know. I'm curious. This is so exciting. Wow. Where to begin? Okay, well, I have no idea who my mom or dad was. Uh, I was abandoned, <laughs> but raised by priests who tried to convert me, so I went away for a long time. Priests? Yeah, priests of Helm. The Watcher. The Vigilant One. Kind to children. <laughs> Were they a hard-headed bunch? Really up on the discipline, not so much on the caring and forgiveness. But they're priests of Helm, so what are you going to do? Considering what happened to them in the first game, you should be kind of nicer to them. Yeah, I mean, we all get into trouble sometimes, or a lot. Uh, just like and I my guess daughter. they ran out of I forgive yous at some point. Anyway, so after helping myself to their collection plate after a particularly moving sermon, I decided to see what else I could help myself to. But, you know, those tales could fill a book, and I don't want to chew your ear off. Maybe some other time. Oh, fine, be that way. I have other questions. Questions, questions. Go ahead. I'm all horns. Do you have any useful skills? I'm good at slipping into places, but not all the time. Coaxing locks to open, dodging traps, you know, subtle stuff. Right. And I may have accidentally backstabbed some people in the past, but if they couldn't see me coming, well, that's their loss. That is true. They, they, they questions, failed. Questions, questions. Go ahead. I'm all horns. Right on. I want to ask about some of our companions. Yeah? Which one of the marks you wanted to know about? Not the barrelhead dwarf, is it? Oh, you don't hate on his beard. Well, he needs to watch his tongue, or it's going to run right out of his mouth and get stepped on. I mean, you did me a good turn. All I want to do is help out, and he's yelling at me like some old mule. I know he's <laughs> short, and it's rough being in the big people's world. But he needs to stop being Thank all you. defensive, especially for someone so small. 
<laughs> he just needs a little more time to get used to you. Story of my <laughs> life. You'd be surprised Probably. how much you hear that when you're about to be burned at the stake or run out of the local hamlet. He's too quick to start fights. That's his problem. He keeps it up. He's not going to have anyone watching his back. Or more likely, looking over it. <laughs> Let's move on. Where's Kelgar here? Oh, there he is! Let's talk to Kelgar. Yeah. Everybody likes Kelgar. What is it you Except want, Easter. lass? Who are you? Kelgar Iron Fist, of course. It's a wonder you haven't heard of me, considering how I've made my mark up and down the Sword Coast for almost a year. With the minus of that beard, no surprise. All right, go on and ask them. Asshole. Why are those men trying to attack you outside the Weeping Willow? They were in the mood to threaten, but not fully in the mood to start a fight. I think they were expecting me to drop the coin and leave quickly, which just goes to show you they don't know me too well. It's a shame they didn't keep it a friendly fight. Some people have no stomach for using their fists when they have a weapon at hand. Why are you so eager to fight, man? Eager to fight? Well, I suppose I am. If you can call it that. I mean, it's all in good fun. Some take pride in craftsmanship, or in hunting, or in haggling for the best price on a blade or other piece of steel. Me? Talking with my fists is my art form. Every tavern's an opportunity, I say. There's usually someone who could take a few punches to the gut and groin before <laughs> they start weeping like a child. But why do you do that? Well, I don't know. I enjoy it, I guess. It's a mark of pride to be able to stand tall and take every punch, then give it right back until I'm the only one standing. Is that how it usually turns out? Most of the time. Only beaten really bad once. But I learned from it, and I'm determined not to let it happen again. Thing is, I'm glad it happened. It was my destiny. What happened, man? Well, you see, I used to win. Almost undefeated. But there was this time in a tavern far from here that I chose a fight that ended up choosing me. It was fate, I tell you. You found fate in a tavern, bro? <laughs> well, it wasn't much of a fight. You see, there were these skinny robed humans, barely twigs, that were sitting at the bar when one of our competitions broke out. There were chairs getting smashed, people screaming, tankards being used as clubs. Ha! Ah, glorious. I don't understand the problem. Well, everyone was having a good time when I noticed those skinny humans were just sitting there. Not even having the decency to pay attention. Just nursing waters. Waters! So I asked them, well, shouted really, what in the hell they thought they were doing? Ignoring the fine entertainment and then insulting the establishment by not having a hell? Uh-oh. If you shouted at them... And maybe I shoved one of them a bit, or tried to break a chair over their skulls, since they were making a point of pretending they didn't hear me. <laughs> Rude, I tell you. Oh, uh, what? Ah, well, they used me as a bar rag first, and not a single punch I threw even hit them. Oh, they were moving too fast, and plus, I, I think I was seeing double or triple. Ugh, after they smashed my face into the bar a few times, uh, they showed me the floor up close. <laughs> the floor was pretty dirty by that point, by the way. Then, at the final blow, they sent me flying like a drunk hippogriff out the window. Magical it was. <laughs> so, after I woke up and wiped the blood out of my eyes, and finally found all my teeth, I went back in and thanked them. Best beating I've ever received. They seemed a little taken aback by my friendliness. And it turns out they were part of some order. Son something or other, and, and, and get this. They devoted their lives to fighting with their fists. Can you imagine? Lifetime devotion to brawling. It's their lives, their craft. So they're they're monks. monks, eh? Crazy water-drinking fools. <laughs> Hope drinking water isn't what makes them fight like that. Anyway, that life sounded like destiny to me. I mean, those skinny excuses for humans were good. And then they spent their whole lives kicking the hell out of others, training for it. That's when I knew that's what I wanted to do with my life. My purpose was clear. 
I hope they're kicking the hells out while there's a... <clears throat> At least the point of modern stack more effective huh? now. Of course it is. Well, as far as I could tell once my head stopped ringing. It's more cerebral than that, man. You mean like headbutting someone? I already know how to do that, though sometimes I need to grab them by the beard or collar and yank their head down so I could hit it properly. It's all about violence, oh, Kelsar. Is that so? <laughs> well, I must have missed that part while they were wiping down the tavern with my face and throwing me through a window. <laughs> Shows how much you know about it. You didn't see them in action. No other questions. All right, go on and ask them. Let's learn more about them. Well, there's a great deal to tell, especially if we're going with clan history and our accomplishments. But chances are, and I don't blame you, you're just asking about me personally. So let me give you the short version. I've been traveling the Sword Coast for a year or two, making my trade at villages and towns. And, well, making my trade at taverns as well, but you already had a taste of that at the Weeping Willow. Oh, Calgar, you are All our right, champion, go man. On and ask them. You are our champion, son. Do you know anything about the creatures pursuing you? No, they're strange ones to be sure, with all their hissing and spitting. Uh, they also don't seem to be ones for a stand-up brawl, always relying on ambushes and sneaking up. They don't if have they have balls. a problem with you, I say they get all their clan together and face us at once, without all this chipping away at our patience. You tell them, Kelgar. Of course they know we'd probably send them running back to their mothers. <laughs> so chances are, they're just trying to make us angry. Yeah, they are. All right, go on and ask them. Hmm. Let's see here. It's the Kalakcha. It's no proper dwarf curse, that's for sure. Sounds like something they want to find pretty badly, though, whatever it is. Let's see, more questions. All right, go on ask and ask them. Let's keep moving, bruh. Right. Hold up the tape. Headphones work right now. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> All right, on the Fort Lock. Now we've learned some more about our companions, our war parties, I like to call them. Yeah, it's Fort Lock. I see Fallout 4 settlements better looking. Oh well, what can you do? Can't always be perfect, right? Cormac, found him. Galen tells me what you did for him. Glad you managed to keep him in one piece. You look familiar. You're not a harborman by any chance, are you? Yes, I am. Why do you ask? Harbormen are hard to miss once you've met one, and I've met plenty being from West Harbor myself. I'm Cormac, City Watch Marshal of Neverwinter City. You wouldn't have heard of me. A City Watchman is hardly a glamorous profession. Cormac, you're famous in West Harbor. Ha, uh, I don't know about famous. West Harbor's a small village, though, so I'm not surprised you know of me. Wait a moment, I recognize you, Dagon's foster child. Imagine running into you here. How's the old man nowadays? He's doing well, thank you for asking. Well, that's good to hear. A quiet man, but a good heart. He seems to have done a good job raising you, so tell me, what are you doing so far away from West Harbor? I have been sent to never on my task. You'll be making a stop at High Cliff then. Be careful. From what I've he been hearing, from the refugees' bandits own the roads now. Is Lauren Starling in Neverwinter? I'm told that's where he went. Lauren had not heard from him since he first arrived in Neverwinter some years back. He was still upset with me over what he calls trickery when we competed for the Harvest Cup. Lauren's a punk. 
A good man, though a little hot-headed, moved to Neverwinter a short while after I joined the Watch. I tried to recruit him, but I guess he found the Neverwinter Grey Cloaks more glamorous. I poked around a little on Retta's behalf after the war with Luskin, but no one seems to know what happened to him. I doubt he deserted, and I wouldn't have had the heart to tell Retta that he fell in battle. Her life's hard enough as it is. Why are you here? Well, mainly to make sure Galen got here safely. He may be crazy and greedy, but he's still a friend. I'd also heard rumors that the garrison here had stopped its patrols, figured I'd look into it while I was down here. And of course, it turns out the rumors were true. No patrols, meaning the roads are crawling with bandits and worse now. West Harbor itself came under attack. By the gods, I knew it. I told Valus that he was putting the village at risk, but he wouldn't listen. Who's Valus? Temporary commander here at the fort at Fort Lock. For the sake of the north, I hope he's just that, temporary. The people rely on these troops for safety. Refugees are starting to trickle in because he's the surrounding the surrounding areas got more dangerous. That's no good. Maybe you could get some sense into that thick skull of his once he hears that West Harbor came under attack. He may change his mind. I'll see what I can do. Thank you again for helping Galen out. He probably would have gotten into trouble with, with or without the patrols. It was good to see you. Hopefully you can get win Valis over and I can get back to Neverwinter sooner rather than later. Alright, let's stop by the shopkeep. Let's sell off that one thing we got. It's none of us can use a cookery. So two is the cookery. Make us a decent money. Let's check weapons. Actually. Yes. Oh, okay, here we go. Let's go over here to my oh, friend. Yes. Buy some more arrows. Never want to be without arrows if you're playing with an archer. It's not good. So let me see. We could probably we can make our own equipment in this game, which is something that I like. I just usually don't use it though. Kind of sucks, but yeah, happens. All right, back out here. Let's search for some missions. Won't be going on much longer from here, though. See, so this is the part. This will take a while too, just like the other one. There's Galen. He made it all right. He's a champion. And here's the asshole. Ah, a stranger of Fort Lock. If there's something you want, be quick about it. I have a garrison to run. Let's see here. Are you the commander here? I am, and let me tell you, with Fort Lock being the way it is nowadays, it's a good thing. These soldiers need military discipline, and by the gods, that's what they'll get. I hear you're filling in until Commander turns. Where is he? Filling in? That fool tan allowed this place to fall apart. I've spent every waking moment bringing order back to the garrison. He's been missing too long anyhow. Probably met the same fate as the other patrols we've lost. I've already sent news to Neverwinter of his loss. It's merely a formality before I officially take charge of the garrison. Wouldn't they want proof of your commander's death? He asked. True, I hadn't thought about that, but I can't spare the men for investigation. Three patrols already lost, refugees trickling in, and discipline with them is in shambles. We'd be hard-pressed to hold this fort with what we have. What if I were to handle this for you? You, a civilian, helping a military garrison with an investigation? Why? I'm not a civilian, I'm a member of the militia. That hardly qualifies as military experience. I'm surprised you even learned which end of a sword to hold. Wow, what a fucker. Though I am in no position to refuse any aid offered, I must question your motives for assisting the garrison. I want you to resume the patrols, you dick. Absolutely not. Until I know what happened to the others, I'm not risking any more men. Diplomacy, your superiors would look favorably upon your promotion if you settle this without further loss of men. Failure. Oh, really? They care what happens to the men less than I do. Wow. I'll be thorough. Okay. Anything else I should know?
diplomacy. Let me see if this will work. Oh, that worked. You'll find that worth the price, son. I'll begin my search immediately. All right, set up test. Let's talk to. Wait, hold on. What's his name? Tor Millos. Well met, traveler. Well, I wonder if I might appeal to you for some assistance. <coughs> How can I help you, sir? I am but a lowly priest of Ville Matter. I was waylaid along the road from Highcliff by bandits who made off with the holy symbol which was granted to me when I was accepted into my order. What were you doing alone on the road? I heard it's dangerous. Service to Ill Matter requires that I aid travelers in whatever manner I can. I travel between this fort and Highcliff, lend tending to those in need. I trusted that even bandits would leave a man such as myself unmolested, as I am sworn to help all travelers, even those of lesser morals. I was clearly mistaken. We'll get it back for you, son. Can you mark where it's at? And here she was saying she didn't know the way to the bandit base. I want you guys to think about that. Alright, where is the leader of these people? I think there's like, yeah, here we go. Well, met, Chavalor. I'm just passing through. Bandits are always a danger. They are effective life out here, but these bandits have become bolder with the lack of regular patrols. They are now taking prisoners and demanding ransom. My own husband is among the ones taken. Is there anything I can do to help? Alright, we're gonna go in. We'll save them. But we need a full crew first. Just me, Kelgar, and freaking uh, Nishka over here. I don't think that'll be enough. If I remember correctly, and I'm pretty sure I do remember. Alright, let's head out of the port. Okay, let's go over here. Let us regain the energies. Okay, now if I remember correctly. Oh! What are you looking at? I got you, that's my fucking guys. So if we go to High Cliff, you have encountered something on the way to your destination. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Now we know where gods go to die. Uh-oh. No place to run this town, Kalakcha. Not what you have stolen. Hand it over, and we will let you live. This is getting tiresome. What's so important about that blasted thing that has them chasing us all over Farron? Hey, that'll be a lot of killing before this is over, I'll wager. Yep. Hang the shard over now. Oh, we will take it from your... And we were just getting to know each other. Oh, I shall enjoy killing you. He needs a throat lozenge. Uh-oh. <coughs> Magic bits. Fight, you pathetic thralls. Kill them all! Man, the Duke are not the smartest. Looking at me. Attack! Don't stare at me, you fuckers! Cast spell. Oh, sure. I can do that. No. Kill the Duger. F.
location. Man, I might just get my ass kicked. Time for a little fun. About time, Kelgar. Why is he just standing there like a goober? Take that. You walk a strange path for a harborman. Apparently, I'm not the only one who has a problem with it. Forgive me, but I saw these things about to attack you. I found I could not simply stand by while you were ambushed. Again, I'd like things. to help if I could. I've been trying to follow you without interfering, but I don't think you'll reach your destination without someone who knows the land. How long are you going to watch me? <laughs> I watch all within the mare, but only occasionally observe those who stray from it, as you have. I am Eleni, and rather than shadow you, I would walk with you. With a frame like that, you'd most likely be blown by the wind. Now, now, no need to be jealous, Barrel House. Of an elf? And a tree worshipper on top of that? Ah! I think you will find tree worshippers a rare thing these days, dwarf. So do not use that word lightly. Trust me, with a gut like his, Kelgar doesn't do anything. <laughs> it's a strange circle of who follows who on this road. At first, I was following those who attacked you, but they seem to be following you. Which leads me to believe there's something you have, something they want, so... I thought that perhaps my enemy's enemies would at least welcome some company to their destination. And with my help, even get there faster. How? Well, I come bearing a gift, not just words. I know of a quicker path to Highcliff, and one that will hide your trail as well. There is a druid sanctuary not far from here. The Maiden's Glade where members of my circle would go for refuge when traveling the land. I can lead you there, and with no further attacks from these hunters of yours. Not that you can't handle yourself, but I'm sure you're growing as tired of these attacks as I am. What do you know about them? Little. They are not of the land. That is for certain. They have a strange smell about them, and their speech is like nothing I've heard before. Unless they are speaking to their thralls, it is impossible to make out. But they keep calling you Kalak Cha. Do you know what that means? That was my but it looks like when it comes to answers, we have little to oh. offer one another. A pity. I only recently became aware of them. First, in the Merdelaine, the wetlands you harbormen call the Mare of Dead Men. I believe they are responsible for many attacks in the Mare and beyond. Not all their victims escaped as you did. And so I followed them to learn of their intentions, and if possible, to stop them. Good for them. We would welcome your company. Very well. We need a full crew. That wasn't so hard to admit now, was it? What, what the hell is this? First the demon, now this willow-thin slip of an elf? Let's invite all the realms, make a grand army tromping through the wilderness. Enemies, come get us! Here we are! We will not be tromping through the wilderness. We will be weaving through it like the wind. Although that does and sound fun, wind, having a whole shut your mouth, army Kelgar, on our before back. your breath summons more of those creatures. Oh, shit. Besides, wouldn't you rather have our new friend right here where we can see her, rather than behind us the whole way? As for the way, if the sun and trail read true, you are bound to never winter. Seeking safety behind walls, are you? I need to reach my uncle, man. A shard? Ah, so that would be the silk-wrapped bundle I saw I wouldn't in your pack. waste silk on it. it sounds I'd like that is what those creatures are looking for. Hmm. Well, if they seek it, then let us <coughs> do what we can to keep it from them. Well, screw them. Regardless, I appreciate your trust in telling me. Thank you. Good for you. Let's be on our way. Follow me. This is a long way from the road. Are you sure you know where you're going? Agreed. How much farther is this place? Not far, for we are already here. This is Eridus, the Maiden's Glade, in the Tongue of Harbormen. Which is just basic. 
Sounds a elvish, almost Illahorn, in fact. You are correct. You surprise me. Oh, Lord, I know Just shit. Just the mayor of Dead Men was once Merdelaine, the slow marching court. This place also had a name long before settlers from Neverwinter set foot here. Did they ever set foot here? I can barely see where we're going. Trust me, it's no better at my height either. Sure as the hells couldn't find my way back to the road now. The road to the Maiden's Glade is hidden, known only to druids and the beasts of the land. You cannot revisit this place without me to guide you. The glade up ahead was a retreat for druids, a place of shelter if they needed to heal or rest. Many such places exist along the coast. The animals here would protect the druids, and they will shield you from your pursuers if they should find you. Uh, you mean those animals? <laughs> that honey badger's about to whip our ass. I think we've had enough of this. Oh wait! Oh, they're trying to kick me. Bring up the spell book. Uh, already? Did I give you permission to die? Switch to the sword. Put the man up. Use a heal on each of us. Tell her freaking hit him. The animals here are frightened, and I know not why. There is usually at least one druid in the glade, and they should be aware of the beasts, and us. Well, I say we avoid any wolves or anything trying to kill us. I say we fight them. They attack us, we attack them. Besides, <laughs> could use new boots. <laughs> I think that whatever is wrong here will pursue us. I think you should listen to our leader more. Uh, Niska likes me. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off here. What? Oh, bull crap. Hold on, let me see if I can get back away far enough where we can heal. I forgot it didn't let us rest in between here and there. Hurry up, come on. There we go. Heal up, get our spells back. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and save. Very important with RPGs. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and stop it here for now, guys. Anyway, this is Aaron Encore. I am not dead yet. And I'll see you guys later. Let's see. Let's see you save. Save. Alright, I will see you guys later.